Hello everyone, it is Evan from The Trade Risk, Wednesday, March 25th, and I'm here with a market recap video. There's been a lot going on. Today's action was pretty exciting, to say the least, so let's get right into it. There's a lot of things to cover. Um, you know, we were in this, uh, call it a rising channel, ever since we were bouncing off the lows here mid-March, March 11th to be specific. We went through the FOMC minutes last Wednesday, had this nice expansion bar to the upside, and then we kind of went sideways here in, in a few sleepy candle days here. Now, I came into the week, I was very constructive on this market. I recognized that we were overbought on a lot of metrics, but I was looking for some sideways digestion through time, and I really wanted to see 209 hold um, on, on, on the downside. Now, yesterday we closed slightly under 209 so it put me in a kind of a wait and see mode here um, and today you know I obviously saw what um, what happened and the bears really took it home today they snapped this rising channel and they uh, they drove us lower so it looks like there's a magnet here to probably retest these 20450 lows here in the spy and um, you know it's ultimately up to the bulls now to try and save this to try and step in here support this market at this previous lows or perhaps we can maybe we'll gap higher tomorrow uh, maybe this was some sort of overshoot flush to the downside today um, I'm not sure the one thing that is interesting so I, I do consider today a pretty uh, important day technically it's back below 209 which I consider a level of significance uh, the the interesting thing to note though is we've already had two days of selling closing on the lows so you know this pullback started here you know coming from the highs at 211 we were down on Monday down on Tuesday and now we're down a lot on Wednesday so it's tough for me to want to jump on the short bandwagon right here um, perhaps you know it could absolutely still work we could still can you know flush lower absolutely but to me I think you had to be nimble um, you had to have probably been in some shorts over the past few days now um, to, to really reap uh, the, the the large and fast part of this move um, so for me, I actually put on a long here uh, at the end of the day, and I actually had some long exposure into the day, um, but they all outperformed. They all ended green on the day. So I'm actually relatively long um, into this close, but I had no damage done today. The names I am in still look good technically, um, whereas the market here uh, looks, the indices look um, a lot more pessimistic. So you could still find some individual outperforming names. You just need to be a little selective about um, what you're looking for. But today was just, you know, and obviously it's a horrible candle here. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Maybe we were overcooked here on the downside. Maybe we gap down and we and we and we just break right through this 20450 level like it's not even there. So either scenario can happen. Um, key is to managing risk and today uh, certainly a day to take notice. Let's look at the small caps. Look at this bar. Um, probably one of the largest range bars here um, in in the past few months here on my screen. Uh, we had you know we had a big bar here back at the beginning of January, but. Um, this is a pretty uh, pretty substantial bar here, down 2.66% on the day, back below 123.40, which was, you know, this sort of breakout level. Um, we we broke out, topped out around here, and then you know we we reclaimed it just a couple of weeks ago, and now we're back below it. So a lot of uh, sort of interesting activity going on here. The queues, uh, just an, look at an incredible range bar today in the queues. Um, so. A lot of interesting uh, happenings here while the markets, while the IWM is at all-time highs, the queues were really close to uh, these recent highs. So we'll have to see what comes of it. Um, we'll have to see if it's the beginning of a potential leg lower, uh, lo uh, more substantial leg lower, or is this some type of overshoot? The one other interesting comment I'll make here on the SPY, back to the SPY here, is that if this does happen to be a lower double top high, then that again is a very bearish scenario uh, for 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 this market. If you know we we made a new new high here, pulled back, and then we failed to get even to retest these highs, and then we roll back over, and if we continue to go below 204.50. It's a very bearish scenario too. So we're not there yet. We'll have to see what happens. Um, 
and we'll just take it one day at a time. Let's look at some other markets here. TLT down on the day as well, basically uh, reversed ex uh, exactly yesterday's action. Let's see what happens. Short term uptrend is still intact. Um, long term uptrend still intact. All you know, it's pretty much an uptrend on on most time frames here. But let's see what happens. Um, uh, uh, you know, bulls, uh, bears get credit today, but um, they didn't really do any technical damage. USO had a real nice outperforming day today. Um, 60 and 50 ever since this bar here, this 318 bar here where we rallied strong up, you know, 6%, whatever this day was, um, this has put in sort of a short term bottom and the market's been marching higher ever since. It's back in this wider range, 1865 or so is probably the next uh, level of interest on the upside. So for now, things look good. Short term uptrend. Let's see if it can continue. Uh, definitely outperforming today. UNG is really looking sluggish here. Um, I like this nice, healthy, tight base that's being put in here. Uh, it's my kind of trading, breakout trading, breakdown trading. So 1360, I'm eyeing this level. I would get short UNG below 1360. Let's see if it can happen cleanly. Um, or, you know, we could just get another retest of this range and, and kick around here for another couple of weeks before we resolve in, in a direction. But I like the tightness in UNG. Uh, no idea which way it'll go, but I'm willing to play it. Uh, this gap here, gold got filled, and gold, similar to USO, has been bouncing strongly ever since this same day where the where the you know where the dollar um, really came off, and it kind of helped commodities boost the a lot of the different commodity prices there. So um, 110 seems to be holding on the downside. Short term uptrend is intact. Moving averages starting to curl over the fast ones and the first gap got filled. So zoom out, you can see just still in a larger range. It's pretty messy overall, but gold for now is um, showing signs of life. Silver, pretty much the same lines, looks a little bit healthier than gold. This range is a little more developed, a little cleaner. Um, and again, we've already snapped above this 1590 resistance level that, um, you know, was significant um, in the in the recent past here. So silver definitely uh, looks pretty good here. But again, still tough to do much with it, in my opinion. Um, XLE, so US, USO was up, the oil was up today. XLE was the outperforming sector here actually managed to hold green up almost uh, up about 1.3%. And you can see here um, a pretty nice looking pattern actually with this big expansion bar here, a couple of days of sideways, and now it looks like it's trying to lift again, ultimately needs to get back up above $78. So, um, you know, you could just see in, in my scans yesterday, I was seeing a lot of these oil service names come up. So things like ERF, you can see nice formation continued higher today. Uh, we had LPI up nicely today, up 6%. Um, this one, you know, in a nice, uh, nice little breakout pattern here. Um, NBR, another one that had some nice traction today, trying to get above recent highs. Halliburton um, also had some traction today, a little bit of a fade here. FET, this is one actually that I'm involved in from yesterday. Um, close wasn't that great, was up uh, more earlier on, but um, I'm actually in this name. So let's see if that one can, can continue as well. But you can see here, um, Many of these names, this is where money was rotating to today, and a lot of these names do look pretty good that they're coming out of, they're either emerging from a base or legging higher in a base. So I think all of those names are pretty interesting. Now let's get into some of the big marquee tech leaders here. Apple first, uh, pretty horrible looking candle for Apple. We did identify 130 as resistance while we were moving up on this leg. It found resistance exactly there, and it's been rolling. It's been kind of pulling back off that level. Today looks a lot like the spy here. Really convincing move to the downside. We'll have to see. Um, 122 over the short term probably wants to get retested, but Apple for me is just an avoid. There's not too much there. Google on the other hand completely reversed yesterday's candle. It was actually a really good looking candle here on Google um, yesterday. And um, we, you know, we just, we basically gave it all back up and um, it looks, you know, it's, it's sort of interesting. I mean, short term, these moving averages are still up. It's still trying to move up. It didn't do a whole lot of technical damage today. It just completely reversed yesterday's action, um, which isn't a good sign, but again, hasn't done a whole lot of damage. Um, 
other than that. So we'll have to see Google potentially in play here. They need to step in. Bulls probably wouldn't want to see it continue the down uh, move into tomorrow. Netflix, same thing, really just engulfed, not quite an engulf, but engulfed the uh, large part of yesterday's move and followed it, closed down on the lows here. And this one looks in trouble. 415 are the recent lows here back from mid-March. We'll have to see if those want to get tested. Moving averages still down. This is a name I would want to be short, um, you know, more so than long. So keep that one on watch. Amazon still playing around in this range here. 366 on the downside needs to hold. And it looks like, you know, 380 or so is still causing some problems on the upside. So this one just needs more time. Not too much to say about it. Facebook had a very nice breakout over the past two weeks gave a chunk of that back today um, because it is such a significant breakout because the moving averages are racing higher still I would think um, bulls buyers would be interested if it falls much further I gotta imagine that there was um, some people trying to catch this trying to get into Facebook here for a potential um, retracement buy we'll have to see not my cup of tea I'm watching this though I like I like this breakout here. This is a weekly chart of Facebook and, and especially what it did last week. So I'm definitely eyeing this action. I'd like to see another day or two unfold before I jumped in, but Facebook certainly interesting. Twitter also under some selling pressure today. Uh, Bulls had a very nice breakout bar yesterday up almost 6% or something thereabouts above $50. And then today gave unfortunately about 70% of that back back below $50, closed pretty much on the lows, so unfortunately not the best follow-up candle to today's yesterday's action. Um, you know, Twitter still has some potential here. We'll have to see if the bulls can step in here and put a halt to the downside movement. I think they can still save this move. Otherwise, um, it just needs more time. So we'll have to see. $50 is a uh, important psychological level, of course, to reclaim. Um, and then, you know, the highs at $51.50 are going to be important going forward so I'll be watching this one closely it's not um, actionable for me but I would like to get a piece of this um, if, if Twitter does continue to move on the upside so we'll have to see how it continues in the days going forward GoPro had a very nice day today um, outperforming up over a percent and you can see $43 or so is giving it a bit of a hard time this was a significant level back in basically the month of March you can see it tested here tested here broke down here found resistance here so fit $43 is a pretty um a pretty important level but you can see uh, GoPro, GoPro is trying to break this very long downtrend that it's been in since uh, October November of 2014 and um, we'll have to see if the bulls can continue to stabilize and move us higher moving averages fast ones are trying to curl up and support this move so that one is certainly interesting gopro um alibaba the next one again similar camp here outperformed today up just just barely on the day uh, slightly green but that's that's good given the tape um, you can see it's also trying to base out here at a pretty interesting uh level of uh, support uh, resistance right here around this band 84 to 86 dollars I like Alibaba above 86 dollars so it still has work to do but if it can basically reclaim and take out these highs that it failed at last time around I'd probably probably be interested in this for a trade uh, but for now it's just not ready for me and uh, let's let's look at some setups I get some setups on the long side and short side uh, first FLR on the long side although not a very good candle today um, you know a little bit of a bottoming pattern here you can see inverse head and shoulders whatever you want to call it but I like the rounded uh, potential here a uh, rounded bottom in this latest leg lower and um, I think basically above today's highs, 58.50, this one could get going. I like the formation here, but um, the bulls need to step in and save it pretty soon. JEC is another one. Closed just, just barely red on the day, but $45 is a pretty interesting level. You can see... Um, you know, failed here at the end of 2014. We got back above it, um, retested it, I'm sorry, uh, at the beginning of this month, end of February, and now we're basically challenging it again. So keep it on watch. I think above $45 can probably get you a leg into these recent resistance level here, right around 48.50. That would be the next target to have on watch. Um, 
Not saying it would definitely get there. And finally, GLOG on the long side. Uh, had a nice session today, up almost 2% on the day. It's contending with this resistance level here that it's basically closed right into. And then you have $20.60 or so is basically um, the highs from the past several months here as it's been chopping around. But it's put in a pretty nice base, outperformed today. Let's see if it can get going. Um, slightly under the radar name, so that one could be pretty interesting. And on the, on the short side, we got some names here. Um, APD, this first one. Had a little bit of a leg lower here from the highs, and it basically has been pretty heavy here now on 151 support. You can see the many tails around that level, and we closed uh, below it today and on the dead lows. So look to see uh, if we get some continuation lower. Look for this new leg lower potentially to kind of unfold here. I like APD on the short side. VMC, here's one that um, is another short setup could potentially turn into a long setup too. It's a little early, it's had a strong uptrend, so this might not be ready to just roll over quite yet, but you can see it's been kind of stubbornly hanging out in this tight range here, and it closed on the dead lows today. Look for some continuation lower tomorrow. You could probably catch uh, a, a potential leg lower here, otherwise might need a little more time to chop around. And then finally, TRAK. This one has been, it's been a mess for, for the past many months, but you can see recently of, of March, it had this fairly strong leg down lower, and um, we had a small rally off these $37 level, and then it chopped around here, found resistance, and it looks like it's trying to roll back over, so keep that one on watch for potential short setup as well. And that's what I have for today, so um, hope you enjoyed, and um, good luck trading out there. Things are spite. Uh, you know, getting heated up a little bit. So we'll have to see how this week wants to unfold. I'm sure it'll be interesting, but uh, best of luck trading and I will catch you next time.